sequence of like really dedicated, passionate, like I want to get good, and then like days and weeks of like I don't care about playing right now. Yeah. And he said like, like uh, what is it? Like will or something? I think like will won't get you there. It's about discipline beyond that. Like, yeah, that's so that's don't very play, true. You still play, yeah. You know later you want to play. Yeah, but also like thinking that. And I don't know if this is just like a melee player thing or what, but the, the whole like will or like mental toughness, which I know you were saying that jokingly about Belly, but people really do like think that. Sure. What? Oh, no, like the, the no, that like that it's just about like will. Yeah, yeah, like who, who wants it more? Yeah, it's like but, no, the game is governed more? by like set, like the engine is fixed, right? Yeah, it's you can only. I can't will Luigi Nair come out faster. It's either gonna like work or not work, or it's a mix up. And then people also do mix ups, it's just like a whole. So I feel like I would get a student, or what I was worried about was getting a student who was like, yeah, I want to improve. And then I try to tell them the things that you have to do to improve, and then they're like, this is bullshit. You just play Puff and you don't know anything. I'm just gonna like grind that play. Because that's like what. I mean, you don't need it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's what I'm gonna do so Yeah, it's, it's like, okay, but it's like really inefficient and also. I mean, the, the thing you can see about people that like came up that way where they just like grinded the game and didn't really like, study anything is they have huge walls they can't get over. Like, I mean, you sucks versus Falcon. Oh, yeah. I don't even know. You, know, you, didn't see, you didn't see the Smash concert? Oh, no, no, no. I did see that. Oh. Didn't he do good versus Bane? He was running like <laughs> Summit or some shit? Okay. I think so. I think he lost. Oh no, he lost to Leffen, then Leffen lost to Wizard. And then actually, okay. And he was still actually playing. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, I get you. Or, or like, Cyrox kind of hit a wall and stopped playing. He's on Box now, I think. Yeah. But again, this is all contingent on what your goals are. I mean, there's a lot of people that are probably just like. Or the issue is not that people don't have like the right goals, but that people are really dishonest with themselves about what their goals actually are. That's really hard to deal with. I know, I think the thing that I've loved the most about playing this game is it teaches you a lot about yourself. Yeah, I think so. Like you really are forced to like confront things that you're not good at or that you kind of like take for granted or don't want to deal with in terms of your personality. Yeah, there's a lot of like moments where I'm like, actually, like how bad do I want to play? Like, I can't use it as an excuse if I haven't been playing for a few days. Like, that's, that's another thing is people like don't practice and then they get mad that they lost because they couldn't execute. It's like, well, what did you think would happen? Yeah, I mean that's why I told you like that I started doing the at least five or ten minutes every day just because like, yeah. I'm so fucking tired of like trying to go missing shit and, smash right. and not hitting it. Yeah, it sucks. Like I would hate that. Bad. And that's a lot of the reason that I'm kind of like I don't want to just enter every tournament. I want to make sure that I come into a tournament like. I feel like I've been working on things, I feel like I have things to test, and I feel like ready to compete. So that when I lose, it's like oh, me yeah. losing, and not just like, well I couldn't execute her. I actually, I actually am excited, because I'm doing some training soon that we haven't done yet. And I've told them, I was like, you know what, I thought about myself, I, I, you know, I have to kind of just do it from what I know, because I, I don't know how it actually works, I only know how I've gotten better in some ways. Mm -hmm. And I basically said the only times I've really felt like I'm not a big burst of the really fast plot, like plateau is whenever I have a goal, like, decent ways ahead of me, like, I'm like, I want to go to this tournament in a month, and I have a goal there, like, I want to be prom in right. that tournament, and then I'm like, I'm going to do that. Yeah, and you prepare for it. Yeah, I think goals are super it's important. It's also way better for motivation, because I, like, wake up, and I'm like, this is, like, I'm yeah, going to be help. Yeah, it can help that. Like, I think just entering because there's an event is, like, not good for getting better. It's not good because there's no visible finish line. Well, yeah, it's like, well, what's your goal? If you, well, I just want to win. It's such a vague, that's what I'm saying. It's like a vague, like, yeah, how like, much okay. do you want to win? Like, how much, I don't know. I mean, if I have a deadline, like, this tournament is the one I want to do good in. Yeah. And one, it'll hurt worse if I lose. But, like, right. that's just a, you have to kind of open yourself up to being hurt if you're Yeah, good. that's the other thing. It's like, caring about things is painful, but it's like, I, like, personally, I wouldn't want to live my life where I'm just like, I don't give a shit about anything. That's actually... Like, I lost, that, whatever. That's a big part of why I started going to more stuff in general other than like more than like two a year or whatever. Yeah. And like grinding is because one of my big things is like I was thinking, I was like, have I ever tried at anything like yeah. for more than a minute? And I I mean I tell students that I tutor this that like it doesn't have to be school, it doesn't have to be sports, it doesn't have to be something your parents tell you to do. But I think it's really important to like have something that you try to get better at. Because like A, like I said, you learn about yourself. 
and B, I think it's just like it's like a really empty existence if you manage to do that. Yeah, in it's my kind of scary because I'm like, can I even try at something? Yeah, because it, it, I mean, it sucks to fail. Like no one wants that, but it opens yourself up to like resilience first of all like you fail and then you keep trying as well as like pushing yourself when it's uncomfortable or hard also like if you achieve it i mean that's the like the thing that makes losing worth it i think is winning yeah it's like when you do, when you do accomplish your goal it's like hell yeah you i saw, did that like, i did, did the that. journey yeah. yeah i put the work in and i got the result man this is bringing me freaking nostalgia city because now i'm like it also reminded me that early on, whenever I started trying to get good, I had a huge problem with sometimes in a close game, yeah. I'd like start wanting to lose because I was like afraid to want to like Win. keep going and like do something good. So that's whenever I yeah. did stuff that you were talking about, like when they're scared, they can't like do a good option. I would just like kind of give up and just like yeah. freeze up and I didn't know what to do. Yeah, and I mean I've been there too. Where I've there have definitely been times when I've been sitting in bracket like not as much recently, but definitely like a year or two ago, where I'd be in like loser semis and I'd look ahead in the bracket and be like, I don't want to like play the guy in loser's finals and like lose because I'll just, you know, I can't beat him. And so it's like, yeah, and you don't try as hard in semis win. then, yeah, yeah and it, but it's like, I think having goals and like having goals that are in line with what you really want and being honest with yourself about it helps this a lot because then you can, you can always like return to that anchor. Yeah. So you're like, well, my goal is this, and I want to do this to accomplish And that's, like, the step, you know? Yeah. That's, like, the worst... I think the worst part of the feeling that I had when I lost in a lot of those sets was, like, the worst part other than, like, the sadness was, like, I felt really relieved and sometimes, like, happy. And I'm yeah, because like, you're, like... It, yeah, it's, like, the so pressure well. is over, but... Yeah. And I'm, like, that's, pressure. like, the That's, like, such, like, a parasitic happiness. Yeah. And it's also, like, pressure is something that dealing with it is, like... Worthwhile. Satisfying. It's just worthwhile for life, you know. Yeah. Like, yes, this is a game and it doesn't matter, but I like went home if I win a good set. Like, I actually like knuckled down. Yeah, but I, you know, you'll face pressure like in your real life with things that you know matter more than this or whatever. So it's like learning how to deal with that is important. If you just like sh run every time something's hard, you know. Yeah. You know? I like to think melee's helped me. As a I think it. Ways. No, I think it really like people say. Ooh, well, video games are like dumb and a waste of time. And that's not and entirely there's also the false. opposite of people being just like lazy gamers who just like consume media all day and it's like yeah. it is my life. Like I have learned so much from the stories. It's like have you applied yourself at all? Yeah, but I think like that was that was pretty. That was good. That was good. That was really good. Or it was, I think that was just a reaction.